Hello, hello everybody. Happy Monday. It is Motivational Monday, so come on in. Join me for a little cup of uh, not very well mixed hot milk mix. <laughs> How is everyone today? Hmm? Here they come. Come on in. We got, we got some stuff to talk about. Who's here? There's a, a little heart went up for me. Thank you for the heart. Are you sharing this with all your friends and bringing your friends in here? <laughs> I love it. Come on. There's Robin and Karen. Hi, guys. And there's Willa Dean. And there's my girl, Vanessa. Say, same with Tracy. Yes, I'm home. And Brenda, hi guys. Hi there, Sarah and Deborah. There's Deborah Riley. How are you, Deborah? Marianne, enjoy. Yay. <laughs> Good to see my ladies. There's my girls. There's Tracy, recent grad, Helen, and Olivia. My goodness, everybody's here. Let me think about all of this stuff. I got, come away, there's a voicemail. There's Rita and there's my girl Dawn and Catherine. Everybody's here. <laughs> oh, it's good to see you too, Robin. Thank you. And I know you guys miss me. I got lots of little things saying you guys miss me. You know, I tried to do shows. It's, you know, when you travel, everything just gets crazy. Lisa said hot melt helped her with a sick tummy. You know why? Electrolytes. The electrolytes are so incredible for you. Jean is good. Brenda got her hot melt mix. I'm telling you, the hot melt mix is the bomb.com. Especially if you haven't been uh, a good girl, shall we say, during the holidays. It really does help you get back into ketosis. Hi, Mimi. I missed you too. There's my girl, Liz. I'm glad. Oh, Jan, all of these, all of you girls, I'm so glad to see everybody. Thanks for, thanks for piping in and saying that. That makes me feel good. Anyway, I, you know, I, I am getting ready for the holidays. We had a blast with our friends. Um, they live out in the Raleigh-Durham area in the Triangle. And we had a, a good time. They're just really sweet, good friends of ours. And Mark has worked with Tim. And I love his wife, Ellen. She's just a love. And we, you know, we talk about nutrition and all kinds of things. So we just, just had so much fun with everything. And so it was just such a great time to get away. And I just really appreciated that time. And thanks for being grace, gracious and allowing me to have that time because it just didn't make sense for me to sneak off and do everything. Mimi said she got her journal. Yay. Well, we're going to talk about that journal because we have the, the Thursday is, is the workshop coming up and I'm creating it right now as we speak. I've been going through it and it's almost all done and, and I, I'm just really excited to get you into that next level. And somebody was asking me about what the hot milk mix is, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about that because, you know, that's what I'm here for. But the hot milk mix is just, um, this is, I mean, and I'll show you, this is what it looks like. You use um, this, you use this much of it, right? And you're supposed to use it in a whole, in like 10 to 12 ounces of water. I do it in about 24 ounces of water. And I've even tried it. Look, I, this is what I'm doing today. You guys are going to love this. I'm putting it with some Pellegrino. It's pretty tasty <laughs> with all that mineral water, you know. So why not? We'll try different things. But anyway, the thing is with you get potassium, sodium, and magnesium, three things that are electrolytes. They make you feel good. There's also a little MCT in it and exogenous um, ketones. Those are just ketones that your body doesn't produce. These are just, these are um, uh, generally regarded as safe grass. They're the only ones that are. There's a bunch of them out on the market, but you just need to be careful because some of them can actually make you sick to your stomach. And you just heard, you know, what Lisa said. She just said that it, she got sick this, this weekend and it helped save her bacon. <laughs> There's also a little MCT oil in there, which just helps to put those ketones on steroids. And in general, it helps you to feel good, avoid the keto flu. And it also gives you, um, it gives you a lot of energy. It's, it's, it's almost like a, 
an energy drink for heaven's sakes. So I love this stuff and I think it is so wonderful. Brenda, yes, a hot milk might help your leg cramps. I'm not gonna guarantee that it will, but we have had people who've written in and said they've gotten rid of them. And as a matter of fact, uh, Lisa Dunham, I think it might even be the one, I can't remember who it was, but one of our Lisa's, I think it is, said that um, she got rid of her leg cramps from it. It tastes, it says it's cucumber lime. It, I have a, a little bit of cucumber taste to it, but I taste more lime. It's delicious. A little bit of stevia in it. Um, it's not overly, overpoweringly sweet, but I do it instead of following the directions like that. I just, I extend it out because it's a little too strong for me otherwise. Some people like it like that. I just don't. So I love this stuff. The other thing that I've been getting a lot of questions about, uh, yes, it was you. See, Lisa, look at, I'm such a good student. <laughs> I pay attention. Lisa had, she had leg cramps and she talked about how this has just gotten rid of leg cramps. So I thought that's fantastic. Robin said, my hair looks beautiful. Thank you, Robin. I did it just for you. <laughs> I just took it out of the hot curlers. You know, I, honestly, I, if it, when I'm done with this, I will have it up back up in a ponytail. But I, be, I got so much crap, excuse me, for saying that it was just too much, you know, uh, that I had too much, uh, too much hair up in the bun and that I needed to look a little better. So I look better, don't I? My hair's all done and everything. I wanted to tell you about this too because this, I had some questions about this and this is my, uh, the beauty support, which I believe um, beauty support is probably the second most effective supplement that we have. Well, and I will say goes in conjunction with, <laughs> here's another one. I've got them all sitting here on my desk. Um, the perfect paleo protein, okay? Here's the thing you need to know. Collagen is, this is, this is the result of collagen, okay, having all of this. And beauty support supports the collagen. And we have a ton of it right now. We just got a whole shipment in. As soon as we get it in, it goes out the door. Because this is choline. This supports the collagen. And when the collagen is, is doing its business and has plenty of support to, to um, launch itself into, into your body, and remember this too, Every single piece of skin, muscle, tendon, bone, it all has, is, is completely dependent on collagen. And when we feed our collagen, we're feeding, we're feeding our, our skin, hair, and bones. It's, it's just really amazing. And you know, I will tell you, collagen has made a big difference. It's made my hair nice and thick and wonderful. And you know, this is how my hair was when I was younger. And I started losing it because of my thyroid. I lost my eyebrows. I lost a lot of hair. Um, and it's all grown back. And I give collagen a lot of that support. I also took a B complex and some biotin that helped. But the collagen is, you know, this is the building material stuff. And we can't overlook that stuff. And by the way, the beauty support, you know, free shipping on this. I, I All I can tell you is if you don't have beauty support, you got to get it. It's the best stuff in the whole world. And especially if you're already doing um, collagen shots like we've talked about in all of our groups and everything, they just makes all the difference. You know, here's the thing. Our bodies need fundamental foundational minerals. So somebody, okay, Willow Dane is asking me what I take. This is what I take, WP thyroid. Now understand WP thyroid, that is something that your doctor needs to give you. You know, you have to have the test for it and all of that. It makes such a difference. And, I, you know, I, this is what I do. I take what I need to, this is the only medication that I'm taking. And then I take my supplements. I have a routine in which I take my supplements. And we're going to be talking about that on Take Back Your Life um, when we do the Take Back Your Life work, workshop this Thursday night at 7 p.m. Now, if you are part of my club, um, the, the Hot Milk Club, this is what we do. We're going to be doing the same workshop. It's just the difference is going to be is there's going to be a whole lot less people and we're going to be able to get really down into the weeds with it. We'll be able to be a lot more personal with it and you can ask me more questions and we're going to get right into um, everything and you guys are going to share if you want to. You can share your worksheets and what have you. You know, here's the thing that I know without a shadow of a doubt 
that when you take a thought and when your thought becomes sort of a vision of what you want and you see it and you own it and you can have some emotion behind it of the life that you want to create. And you know, I always ask that question, like, does this support the life I'm, I want to create? Well, from that vision, you've got to make some goals to go with it. And so I figured out a system that can put your goals into your habits that makes it happen. And you can see it in shorter terms instead of, you know, making New Year's resolutions that never happen anyway. You can see these things start to happen for you. And um, it's, a, it's an exciting process. So I'm just, I can't wait to share this stuff with you because it's just, it's changed my life. And that's what, that's what this journal is all about. And I think we have like four more hardbacks left. I think that's it. So if you want to grab the hardback, you can get it. It's at savingdinner.com slash journal. And you also get access to the PDF that you can print off right then and there. That's what we're going to be using for the workshop. And let me just tell you something. The workshop is invitation only. It's for people that own this journal, whether you own the hard copy or whether you own the PDF. It doesn't matter. We're all here to, to learn and to create and to make better, right? That's what this whole thing is about. And that is the whole thing about a Motivational Monday. We're talking motivation right now, today. And um, I have a new quote for you you're gonna love. And it's this. It's from our friend Diane von Furstenberg. If you doubt your power, then you give power to your doubts. Isn't that true? What we do is we give away our power. We give away our power really easily. Have you noticed that? Sometimes it's just like somebody says something to you and deflates you a little bit and that's it. Boom. They've taken your power. They've taken it and run with it. Or, you know, somebody, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter what we find ourselves in the place of being uh, doubting ourselves. And we find that it's so easy to allow that power to be taken away from us, sort of like taking the air out of your tires for your car. And, and I want to say to you that you have the power inside of you and you also have the power to hold on to it regardless of what comes your way. Because I'm going to tell you right now, and you guys know this, you've, if you lived in this life for any period of time and you're past your teenage years, you understand that you're going to be disappointed. More times than not, you're going to be disappointed. Somebody's going to say something to you. Somebody's going to insult you. Somebody is going to backhand compliment you. Those, that's a good one, right? That's, that's super aggress passive aggressive. You've seen it. You've experienced it. We all have. But when you don't give power to, the, to other people to take away your power, then you can hold on to it. And you know what happens when you hold on to your power? You have the ability to create the life that you want. Isn't that fantastic? You have the ability to create the life that you want. That is what we are doing in our workshop on Thursday. And I, I cannot be more excited to share this stuff with you. It's exciting. It's exhilarating when you start to see how to put the whole puzzle pieces, all the puzzle pieces together. And you know, it starts with those outside edges. Isn't that what we do? We go for the edges and the reason we go for the edges is so that we know how to place all those other pieces. If you've ever done a big puzzle with your family, you know, you've got 500 pieces or a thousand or worse, <laughs> you know, and it's a lot, but you know, everybody always, you're standing around and you've got all that stuff laid out on the table. And what is the first thing somebody says? Look for the edges. Well, those edges are your goals. Those edges are your routines. Those edges are your habits. Those edges are what makes up the structure so that you can create a beautiful masterpiece of a life. Because we're all here to create beautiful masterpieces of our lives. We are here on purpose. We are here for a purpose. And regardless of whether or not you feel like you're purposeless or you don't have this or you don't have that, who cares? And I say that not in a cavalier way. I say that in a way that says, don't worry about it. When we look and try to figure out the how before we understand our why, we're done. Why do we want to do that? What we want to do is look and see 
beautiful, effective potential of an amazing life. Super simple to do when we can just drill it down to the things that we already understand and discard the stuff that we don't need, you know? Discard the stuff that we don't need. And what do we do when we are at that puzzle like we talked about? We've got those edges up on that puzzle. We also have a box up. The box front has the picture of what it's supposed to look like, right? And what does that do for us? That gives us the vision of what our, our, the, the whole thing is supposed to look like. And we get to do that, you guys. I want you to find excitement in that. I want you to feel so super creative, even if you don't even know which way to go. Even if you don't know to go left, right, or center, or anything, it doesn't matter because your purpose will make itself known. I promise you that with my whole heart. Your purpose will make itself known. It doesn't stop us from having to, to pursue it at all. We don't, we don't need to stop pursuing something because we don't know how or we don't know why or we just feel like we don't have this or that or the other thing. It comes to you. I promise you, you are like a magnet. It can't help but come to you. And it's going to surprise you and it's going to delight you and it's going to give you so much hope and you'll see your future just unfolding in front of you. It's magnificent. This is a God thing, you guys. This is what God does. He delights you. It, it makes, it gives him joy. It gives him joy to do this. How fantastic is that? But you know, you have to, our, our motivation for doing all of this, our motivation for this has to come from our hearts. Our motivation for doing this has nothing to do with, I just, I want to wear size six jeans. I want to look really cute. I want to be this and I want to be, it has nothing to do with the superficiality of stuff. The reason we start things, diets and what have you in the first place, it has to do with the quality of our life. It creates a quality of life that we wouldn't otherwise have. If we're passive in our lives, if we're not putting forth the things that we want to get back, we're not going to get much of anything. We're merely going to take up space, breathing, eating, <laughs> you know, and, and driving to and from and doing, you know, the errands. Life's more than that. Life is more than that. And, you know, when we understand and we really appreciate that the creation, this creation is a part of a big scheme and that we're put here for a purpose as a part of a big scheme, even if we don't know what it is. We can participate in just that and understand and know it's going to come our way. <laughs> it is going to come our way because God in heaven delights in you. How about that? How about that, that you bring delight to your God in heaven? That just, that fills me with joy. That fills me with gratitude every single day. You know, I think about how, I, you know, I didn't have a cuddly dad. I just did not. My dad was distant. He was an alcoholic. He was a womanizer. Sorry, but you know, these, these are the ugly truths of what was going on. But I found that my God in heaven was the cuddly God. I found that that was a lap I could jump onto. I found that our hearts that our hearts were connected and it just, it brought me joy. It brought me such joy to know that there is someone who loves me that much and it, unconditionally that much. Our parents will continually disappoint us and we disappoint as parents. And the human equation is disappointing, isn't it? How many times have you cried over something that somebody has said to you? Or how many times have you cried or, or made your children cry and you're just thinking to yourself, I, you know, something wrong with me. Well, the only thing that's wrong with you is you're a human. <laughs> and warts and all, we're loved that much by the Creator. That much. I don't know what to say about that except it's, you know... I feel in my heart 
I just feel my heart fill with gratitude. It's just this overflowing cup because that kind of love isn't on this planet. It's not, you're never going to get it from someone else, but you can get it from God the Father who loves you that much, that much. And think about that. Think about that love, that lap. Think about running and jumping into his lap and being loved and cuddled. And maybe that didn't happen to you as a kid. It didn't happen to me. It didn't. It wasn't part of my life story. And I sure tried to do that with my kids, but I know I disappointed them along the way. We're not perfect, you guys. And that's why I always say to you, we strive for excellence. Perfection is in the other side of paradise. Perfectionism will keep us hostages, hostages from not being able to do something perfectly. How does that, how much does that stink? How painful is it to live like that? It's paralytic. It makes it so you can't move. But when you're living a life that is completely 100% accepted by you know who, <laughs> God your Father, then, then you can get through the next thing. You can get through the next disappointment, you know? Listen, disappointment happens and disappointment lights up, unfortunately, our path in this, in this life. But anytime that happens, we can always flip it. We can always say, well, what could I have done differently? What could I have done that, that isn't, you know, disappointing? What could I have done that would be helpful instead? You can turn it around and look for the construction instead of the destruction. When I, my children were little, I remember one day, and the true confessions, I had two children, 21 months apart, and they, they were real little at, at the time, and, and uh, you know, double everything, double car seats, double stroller, double diaper bags, double, double, double. And um, they were, you know, they were a handful. That's just how kids are. Children aren't easy. But you know what, I, you know what happened? One day... I remember my daughter, my son was just born and I needed to nurse him. My daughter grabbed me by the leg and was holding on and mommy, mommy, blah, blah, blah. And I just, you know, I just get off of my leg is what I said to her. And I just remember moving my leg and grabbing the baby and going sitting on the couch. And she was just, she was done. She just sat on her little butt, you know, fell back on her butt with the diaper on and everything and just bawled her eyes out. And I am telling you, I will never forget as long as I live how horrible I felt. I felt like the world's worst mom. And in that moment, I probably was, you know? And you know, after I was done, got the baby situated, I went and I got my daughter and I brought her eye level to her, to eyeball to eyeball. And I said to her, Caroline, I am so sorry. You did not deserve to be treated like that. Mommy was wrong. And I apologized to her with all of my heart and all of my soul and everything I had. And that is who we need to be, you guys. I, we have to be those people that are willing to go out of our way to apologize to the, the guy at the gas station, the cashier at the grocery store, to our little children when we're just a little too rough and not sweet and kind to them when we've had enough. We need to apologize to ourselves when we see ourselves and we're just like, we're, we're done and we're spent and we're taking it out on the rest of the world. Well, you know what? We have to have this reckoning. We have to have this reckoning of ourselves. We have to have the reckoning of what's going on inside and understand that if we can be gracious and love and apologize to whomever we need to do this with, because God did it first for us, then we can start doing that for ourselves. We can start doing that for ourselves. Because when you can't forgive yourself, you can't move forward. And if you can't move forward, you're stuck in, a, in just, let's talk about the carousel of crazy. There's no, that's no way to live. So I want you to do one thing for me today, okay? Give yourself 
permission to be forgiven and to forgive others. And if there's someone on your list that you need to go out and apologize to, even if you don't know what you did, but you know that there's a thing, do that. Be the person who does that. Be the person who just says, you know what? <sighs> Leslie Todd, if you don't like it, why don't you just leave, honey? <laughs> the dislike emoji. I, I don't, you don't need to be here, honey. Wow, that's kind of rude. Anyway, <sighs> here's the thing. Life is short and we have the ability at any time, at any place, to ask for forgiveness and to be forgiven ourselves. We have the right and the ability to seek out those who we've wronged and we need to do that. Because if we don't do that, then what we're doing is we're damaging ourselves. It comes right back on us. Keep short accounts. Keep short accounts. Because it's just not worth it. And all we can do is say, you know what, I blew it, but I went back and I cleaned up my mess. You know, it's like when my children were little and they spilled something, I, I didn't get mad at them, but I showed them how to clean up. As soon as they could clean things up, I taught them how to clean things up because that's a life lesson right there, isn't it? A life lesson that we're going to make messes and we make messes along the way, but we don't leave our messes there. We go back and we clean them up. There is a spill to be taken care of. So clean it up. And you know what? Train your children and show them how to clean up after themselves as well. This is how we keep gentle, open, generous hearts, and we can love one another. And we can love one another and we can go back. This is what I, you know, we can go back to each other and we can, we can correct the things that have been sown that are hurtful and painful. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Actually, I want to talk to you about motivation and momentum and what have you. And I've got off on this, but I think this is a good lesson, don't you? It's a good lesson. This is something that's been brewing inside of me, you know, having these these disconnects just make it hard in your life. But when we can go back and tie up those little heartstrings that have been broken, then just start to do it yourself because you can. At any point, you can do this. This is a good life lesson for all of us. And when we do this and out of the generosity of our heart and give the forgiveness, we'll get back the forgiveness as well. You know, it's a reaping what you sow thing. We've heard that one before, right? And this is the way, this is the way it works. God is in us, right? God is in us. If he is in us, who can be against us? We were told that the Holy Spirit lives in us. Well, let's invite him in. Maybe there's some house cleaning that needs to be done. Some broken hearts that need to be fixed and you have the ability to do it, you should do it. So if you're getting that little prompt, that little tap, tap, tap on your shoulder, that there's something that you need to go correct or ask for forgiveness, do that. Do it. Because you know what? When we do this, how much more are we going to have in our lives? How much more are we going to be able to open our hearts? We've talked about expanding the borders of our hearts and our heads. Well, there it is right there. That's how we do it. So if you doubt your power, don't give it away. Just tell God that you're, you're there to, to do everything in your power to be here for his purpose and he is going to anoint you, my friend, with more power than you've ever had in your life. And you will see your purpose. It's amazing what happens when we open up our, our hearts. That's what happens. 
All right, Leslie Todd, she's not trying to be rude, just frustrated that this isn't fly lady. Well, it's because this is saving dinner, honey. You're on the saving dinners page, so there it is. I'll tell fly lady you were looking for her. And by the way, keep uh, fly lady, Marla, in prayer, and also Ben in prayer. Um, it's there, There's a lot going on. I had, uh, we were on our way home from the triangle yesterday. I stopped. <laughs> I stopped in um, they were to see Robert and Marla. They were having dinner. We were texting back and forth. So, Leslie Todd, you just need to escape, honey. I'm sorry. I can't help you. It's not an administrator. This is a Facebook page. Okay? There you go. Let's let's all get powerful. Okay? Let's all get powerful. Let's not give it. A, let's not give our power away to our doubts. I am so glad that um, you joined me today and I'm so happy that you share this feed, by the way. When you share it, <laughs> you're telling everybody that you care and I appreciate that. And for all of you who want to get on to the, be invited to the Thursday night webinar, all you need to do is go to savingdinner.com slash journal and get your Take Back Your Life journal. It's that simple. Get your journal. It's a PDF. You will get it immediately. Now, if you want the hard copy, it's going to take a minute and you won't get it by Thursday. But, and we only have like four left. But if you want to um, work on this web, be on this webinar and do a workshop, man, it's going to be cool. And I'm looking forward to it. Mimi, thank you. You're so sweet. <laughs> I appreciate it. Diana, you too. And thanks, everybody. And you know, when people start to get crazy in here. I appreciate you guys, you know, taking care of it. It's, it's really, it's really kind of disconcerting to see rude comments. I just, I don't understand the, the thing. If you don't like it, it's easy to leave. You don't have to make a nasty comment. So I'm not going to ask that for, for forgiveness for saying that. <laughs> I'm not, I'm just going to say, please leave. You don't have to be here. That's it. It's that simple. So thanks again for being here. I really appreciate all of you guys. And I see, I see my girls here all lining up and I see the hearts going. You guys are the best. Love you back, Kathy. Thank you so much for showing up today and for supporting me. I really appreciate you. And thank you for sh supporting Saving Dinner and all you do. I mean, this Thanksgiving was just, you know, I had big heart full of gratitude for, for all of you. You're just really amazing. Thank you so much. Peace. And I love you guys. Bye.